What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill and today we are talking Bronco hardtops. More specifically, the Turn Off-Road TR10 Series hardtop for the Broncos. Now, I know there's some uh, bad goings on in the world of Bronco hardtops and not really going to get into that and get into what other companies have done wrong. Instead, I want to talk about what Turn Off-Road has done right. Um, from the get-go, they said, hey, we're going to build a top. And they started documenting it. They started working on it. They started to build one. Uh, they did not take any pre-orders. They, there was no money down. There was no anything. They just said, hey, we'll start building them. When we're ready to sell them, we'll sell them. And that's exactly what they've done. They uh, were able to start shipping them fairly quickly. And uh, I think it looks awesome. This top actually arrived a couple of days ago. And of course, the alley was blocked off that day because they were doing some utility work back here. So the truck couldn't pr drop it off. They dropped a big old box out front of the house. So worked out there recorded some of the unboxing and getting this installed so i'll go ahead and switch to that footage right now here we are out on the front yard with a big old box thanks to turn off road the first things first we gotta cut this bad boy open i'm locking here yep Uh, and grab that side of that box and we're going to pull it. Grab back so. Just set it over here. Boom. Unwrapped it. This box was sitting in here. Pulled that out, which is the target top. And the hardware is in there and then the rest of the top is all put together in here so I'm gonna loosen these bolts and tip this down and then work on pulling the top out of the box and getting it onto the Bronco and seeing how it fits all right so we got everything unpackaged getting ready to install but we got to install these top brackets now if you had hard top or the hard top prep kit you already have these brackets on there um, however if you have these I IAG lights it, these brackets don't work with those lights unless you get the extensions however turn off road also provides these brackets for just in case you don't have those and that's going to sit right there like so and it looks like that's not going to interfere with those lights so we'll go ahead and use their brackets i also have this dv8 crossbar which has a spacer in there basically this is going to be the same thickness that that spacer was so just remove that spacer slide that under there and put these two bolts back in there and we're just reusing the hardware i already have uh turn off road did provide additional hardware but I'm just using what we got here so when we do put the top on there it's going to screw into this hole so we need to snap this nut on there there so then when we slide the top on the top screw as you can see there we're going to put a screw into there and mount it right there. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and we'll be ready to slide the top on there. Right, front brackets are on. Now I don't know if this will work because this does have a bit of a slant on the back but it's not nearly as much as the best top but it is a bit of a slant. 
and so I know now that this will not work with the best top top and I'm not sure if it's going to work on that or not so I'm going to go ahead and fold that down which is why you have the two washers down here so you can push that up out of your way stuff cleaned up here I did not break down that uh, the shipping crate just in the off chance so I'm leaving the shipping crate as is for right now in the off chance that anything is wrong with the top or I need to send it back that's gonna be the only way I could ship it back so I'm gonna hold on to that um, got everything cleaned up waiting for my son to show up hopefully he gets back home before the sun goes down to lift this on there uh, one last thing that we got to do is change these stock caps right here and they should just pop off like so and you got the wider one on the inside and then the skinnier one on the outside here and they just pop off of there and we're going to replace them with these okay so they only fit on there one way so you can't even do it backwards so good to know so that'll just sit on there it's got some adhesive and then this one will sit like so is this that one you can almost do backwards but not quite so fits in there so i just got some alcohol wipe those down with not a hundred percent what those do yet i believe that's just where the uh when this closes it helps keep that back window shut nice and firmly but yeah i'll just finish cleaning up my mess i guess while i'm waiting and hopefully we still have some sunlight out here when uh, he shows up so we can throw this on. But my wife actually helped me uh, get the top up there. It wasn't too bad. Able to get it up there and just slide it forward. So in their instruction, they say set it down, then push it forward to make sure that these all seal up. And then push in and do that bolt so let me do that get those bolts started so yeah you just gotta push in so that's pushed in tight there and that's holding tight and we'll go over and do the same thing on that side all right and then same thing this side's pushed forward and just push in from the outside Get that bolt started and tighten it down. And then we'll do the other two bolts on each side. Oh, looks like I can reach it from this side. lined up it's not it didn't go into anything though yeah it, there's like a little oh a, a right thing there. underneath so yeah that just holds that tight and this is just a fiberglass tab so don't go too tight on it and then we'll do the same thing on the other side
And there we go. It just sits on top there. And so yeah, the installation, super simple. Uses the same factory mounts back here in the back. Yeah. Top swings open. Now this does have the provision for the rear windshield washer. They don't, they're not quite shipping those yet. They should be shipping those within the next couple of weeks. They also have another glass uh, that has defroster built in that this does not have. That should also be shipping around that same time. So that is going to be an option that you have defrost and windshield wiper. I'm not too concerned about the windshield washer. I don't know that I've you know, used it maybe three times when I had one. But uh, the defrost I'm definitely interested in because, yeah, it sucks when you can't see out your back window when it's cold out. So that is an option we'll probably look into. But yeah, installation, it just uses the three rail bolts on each side, just like the OEM hard top. The inside's all carpeted and it's hard to see because it's everything's black on black and there's not a ton of light in here. I was thankful to find out that the mountains to metal attic rack does work in here. It sits up there perfectly fine. You it said it's a little bit of a slant back, but it's not a ton i think it looks great because it follows kind of this line here as it goes up and doesn't kind of go up and then back so as far as the lines go i think it looks great when i was recording doing the install i was showing these latches and it was getting dark and there's not a lot of light in here to begin with so I don't think you really could see what I was talking about. So these are the latches. They got these nice little rubber covers on them now. And they are adjustable. And once you get the position, get them in the spot that you want, you can tighten this nut down so it'll stay in that spot. I'm going to go ahead and undo these. It's been a couple of days since the initial installation. Yeah, from the top, you can just lift off. And then just sets in place. And so I just want to make sure that it's fitting, that we're tight up against this seal here along the back and then we're sitting in this seal along the front I did mess up my vinyl here a little bit but this is starting to get old and probably about time to be redone anyway but we'll make sure it's sitting good along that seal and same over here. It says if it's not sitting down, give it a couple of wax, but that looks like it's in the right spot. Looks good all along the front. I'm supposed to attach these rear latches. Make sure that they're snug. I think that's good and then we can lock that down and that's what we needed the 10 millimeter wrench for go ahead lock that down and it pulled it a little bit but not so hard that it feels like it's going to pull any hardware out of the fiberglass so then do the same on the other side and I'll come around to the front and see. Now that one feels a bit loose. I think that could go another turn probably. Yeah, that feels good. Again, it's just, I'm just getting it to where it's snug, not pulling super hard on it or anything 
you know, enough that it pulls snug. And that's a little loose as well. So there we go. That is on there, nice and tight. Or nice and firm and not overly tightened. I double check that it looks like it's sitting right out here, which it does. We got a good seal all the way across there and all the way across in the front. But yeah, overall, I think the top looks great. It does have the turn off road badge on that. I know that is a turn off uh, for some people. I'm normally not a big fan of badging on anything either. This I don't think is horrible, but I know they are planning on coming out with some uh, cover plates and stuff like that or different options that you could put here instead of just the turn off road. I know they talked about a, a lip, just a black plate or anything like that that'll match. So I'll leave it like that for now. I mean, even you could just paint over that with some Plasti Dip and it would blend in pretty good with that or some, uh, put a little piece of vinyl on it if it really bothered you. But I'll leave it as it is for now because I don't mind having that on there. I will say it smells bad <laughs> and well, I guess bad is subjective. Some people might like this smell. It is the, it smells like fiberglass. If you've ever worked with fiberglass resin or sanded anything that's made out of fiberglass, then you know exactly what this smells like. Um, it's, not a, it's not an unbearable amount of smell, but uh, I would like to put it in the, keep it in the garage so I could keep the windows down to let it air out. But unfortunately, it does not fit in the garage. It just barely misses, which I've been meaning to adjust these coilovers in the back because the rake is a bit more than what it should be or what I'd like it to be. So I guess that's my motivation to go ahead and finally lower these, adjust these rear springs down a bit so then I can pull it in the garage and hopefully the homemade hoist that we had set up will work. It does have these aluminum mounting points. Feel very sturdy. Anything that's made to work with the OEM soft top should work and utilize these mounting points the same. I'm actually partnering with Turn Off Road. Now, that does not mean I was sent this hard top as an influencer or anything like that. I purchased this top. I got sent this top. Um, I've been looking at this top for a while, thinking about it. I love the way they did the, the rollout. Uh, a little while ago, before I even placed an order with them, I ordered the Molly panels that are back here. Just because, oh yeah, cool. I like the way they handled themselves publicly as a company i wanted to see how the product was how their service was everything like that uh, on a smaller item before plopping down a bunch of money for a hard top uh, then reached out and like pl placed my order uh, i was on the list i got an email said hey are you ready to place your order uh, we're going to start shipping them that just happened just so happened to come in the same week after I traded this in for the Jeep Gladiator. I was like, ah, I don't even have it anymore. Go ahead and skip my spot. Uh, yeah, I, I have no need for that. And then like a week later, I got the Bronco back and I reached out and I was like, hey, did I miss my spot? And they said, yes, you missed your, uh, we we let somebody else take that spot since you weren't able to and put me back on the list. And I got another message saying, hey, your top's ready. And so I went ahead, ordered it, and it got sh sent out. I I've been in contact with them a few times, uh, talking with Todd, sales manager there. We're, we've worked it out to where I am now an authorized dealer for 
all things turn off-road, not just the hard tops, but all things turn off-road. First thing I'm gonna put up on the website is the hard top. Um, in fact, I have a link now that where you can go ahead and order this. And, order, and when I say order it, it's not fill out a credit card form, place an order and wait uh, indefinitely until you get a notice. All it is is say, signing up saying, yes, I want to buy this hard top. I agree that I will pay when the invoice comes type thing and reserving your spot. Enter your information on the site now, reserve your top in about four weeks, maybe five. I'll be reaching out to you. Hey, hey, finalize your order, send you an invoice, you pay the invoice, and your top will be shipped directly from California. If you're interested in the top, let me know. I'll put the link to the site where you can reserve it. I'll put my number on there if you have any questions and a contact form. If you don't feel like calling, you just want to send a message and get a response back uh, with any questions you have. But yeah, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to check out the website where we have these available now to order. And if you want to see more videos like this again in the future, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.